In Newcastle, Indiana, steel making has occurred almost continually for more than a century at the site of Atacampu's recently updated Quarto Plate facility. The mill is the only Atacampu location in North America producing the company's specialized stainless steel plate. Plate that has been used in such high profile design projects as the Cloudgate sculpture in Chicago and the United States Air Force Memorial in Arlington, Virginia. Stainless steel from Newcastle is recognized for its high resistance to corrosion and it is being specified for a number of infrastructure projects ranging from coal-fired energy plants and water reclamation facilities to ethanol plants and nuclear waste storage. While today's focus is on supporting infrastructure and energy projects, 100 years ago the mill had a much simpler focus. Shovels. The site of the Atacampu plate facility has been in operation virtually non-stop since the early 1900s when a rolling mill was erected for the production of carbon steel used for shovels and harrows, plows and discs for agricultural implements. In January 1929, the rolling mill in Newcastle, Indiana and its sister mill in Galesburg, Illinois became the first acquisition of the newly formed automotive supplier Borg Warner Corporation, owners of the mill until the 1970s. During World War II, armor plate from the rolling mill was used to protect American soldiers in aircraft and trucks. And shovels, spades and scoops produced by the mill were issued to Allied soldiers for entrenchment. During the late 1940s and early 1950s, the rolling mill provided steel for bigger and better farming equipment being developed by manufacturers like Case, International, Ford, Alice Chalmers and John Deere. By the mid-1980s, the Newcastle facility was owned by Swedish company Avesta, who made the decision to concentrate its efforts on stainless steel, thus ending the production of carbon steels at the mill. This began a concerted focus on specially stainless steel at the Newcastle site that remains in place today. By the late 1980s, much of the antiquated rolling capabilities of the Newcastle operations were also rationalized. As a result, the Newcastle facility was able to further increase capacity, expand the size range of plate offered, and increase the number of grades produced. In 1992, a series of mergers and name changes began that would run through 2007. Ultimately, the mill became part of Finnish-based Atacampu, a global leader in stainless steel. In 2010, the mill completed $58 million in upgrades. The investment included new equipment and equipment enhancements for process improvements, all designed to help streamline plate production at the mill. The mill's capital improvements feature a new 16,000 square foot warehouse bay that can accommodate three trucks loading at once. Equipment investments include a new ASBF line with inline annealing, shot blasting and leveling and improvements to the 120 inch wide line including state-of-the-art environmental controls. These improvements will enable the mill to more economically, efficiently and reliably produce a variety of sizes, thicknesses and grades. From producing carbon steel that helped feed America's heartland to producing specially stainless steels that will fuel the nation's energy and infrastructure needs, Atacampu and the employees of the Newcastle, Indiana Plate Facility are ready to start the next 100-year history of steelmaking at its storied location. <laughs>